Coins are pretty important in Roblox TDS. They're how you get new towers, new skins, new emotes. So today I want to test out a ton of coin grinding strategies to find out the most efficient way to make a ton of money quickly. What about naturally high payouts? For that, you need to play the special modes. And I found a strategy by Cliche and Alligator to solo pizza party, a very scary game mode, but nowhere near as terrifying as my internet speed. With me loading in three waves late, this strategy essentially entailed using mortar to limp through the first 10 waves before getting a golden minigunner. This strategy was pretty worrying, as I almost lost in waves 10, 11, 12, 15, 22, 23, 26 was really close, etc. Compared to other strategies, this one was definitely more stressful. Until wave 27, where you finally get to stop farming and go full on monkey mode. You max some orders and then basically just spam gold minis for the rest of the game. And by chaining commander's call of arms ability in between placements, I started doing pretty good, and reached wave 40, where Walks the Fox was a pushover. In total, I earned 1050 coins in roughly 30 minutes, for a rate of approximately 35 coins a minute. Also, I realized I had a single unupgraded mini the whole time. A decent payout, but honestly this was too stressful for me. The dark map, the FNAF zombies, chaining call of arms, maybe it's a combination of everything. Maybe I need to go back. To 2020. It felt like this was the peak year for coin grinding, and I hoped to find a more efficient strategy. I mean, you had this one from Extremes, which was undeniably simpler, and after grabbing the loadout, I hopped onto Tropical Isles, and then I had to rejoin because while getting this clip, I missed placing the first farms, but after that, my game plan was straightforward. Six level zero farms. You might say that's inefficient, but you're wrong. I saved for my early game tower in Archer, and to be fair, if there is ever a time for this strategy to make a resurgence, it's after the recent tower buff, and I placed the event tower at the back of the path, where its piercing was strong enough to carry me. I wondered if through some bizarre example of history repeating itself, this strategy might actually work. Although the farming scheme didn't seem promising, as it took me until way 14 to get my first ranger. This strategy is so old that this was literally an entirely different tower. However, the two runs start to dovetail around the giant boss. He killed it easily, I didn't kill it. At least, not until the start of the next wave, putting me on the back foot, and pushing my towers to the limits. And then the same thing happened next wave. This time Time, those limits were exceeded. There were too many fallens, plus a shadow boss which I had literally nothing for, so I lost, earning 263 coins in 17 minutes, for a rate of 15 coins a minute. Inflation is crazy. Clearly, this was not good enough, and I needed the time machine. Please subscribe. I needed a more modern, tighter strategy, and I found this one by Tom, a game balancer. It was a few patches old and meant for lower level players, but there is no way it could do worse than the previous. Being a molten speedrun, this would allow me to get even more coins than before, so I gave it a try. I started off by placing Warden, the main powerhouse of the strategy, surveying the beautiful Crystal Caverns map. However, I made a bit of a worrying discovery, namely this patch of land where a horde of Wardens was supposed to go. At some point, had gained a new restriction so I couldn't place anything at all. This kind of completely ruined everything, but I continued on. My new plan was to disregard the actual plan. I started off following the steps closely and I did retain the overall game plan, but by the end of the round I was just placing stuff, which actually ended up working out. I quickly took down the molten boss, earning 500 coins in 13 minutes, for a rate of 37 coins per minute. Yet even after this my coin count was disparagingly low, and I knew there had to be a better method. Normal mode. Typically, grinding strategies don't utilize this mode, which is exactly why I wanted to try it. Sure, you get less coins, but you can also win much faster. As a former world record holder, current 23rd place holder, I already knew a speedrun strategy, adapted from Galaxy. Except it has been almost a year since that video, so I didn't really remember anything. I remember this part of the strategy, where you purposefully leak a boss, but I didn't remember the part where you leak another and then survive with 4 health. I was using a speedrun strategy, which didn't use safer placements and rather opted for the most optimal inputs. So that meant I didn't place accelerators and generally had a pretty miserable time. I leaked a speedy boss and had to place an excel to catch it, and another one. I spammed gladiator abilities and call of arms until finally reaching wave 30, with the gravedigger preemptively spawning, and my towers melted him easily. Yet I earned only 200 coins, and my completion time was longer than molten. That awarded the ratio of only 15 coins a minute, making it clear that my earlier attempts have been far better. But there is one more strategy, a forbidden technique which can actually allow up to rates of 10,000 coins a minute if you just buy them. Obviously that's not realistic, but compared to the other methods it is like 250 times more effective. Thanks for watching, subscribe, cool video soon? Question mark?